Hi to everyone, this is Doc Cherry. Today we're going to talk about multiple sclerosis and what you can do at home to help you manage the symptoms conservatively. If you're new here, don't forget to click the subscribe button for health tips and the like button if you find health videos like this helpful. When we say multiple sclerosis, it actually affects the brain and the spinal cord. It may be difficult to identify first because the symptoms associated with it can be similar to other conditions as well. But generally, the initial complaint will be a burning or pricking sensation in your hands or feet, in the trunk, or on one side of your face. You can also experience weakness of the legs and hands, Fatigue and balance can also be affected. You will notice that you lack physical and mental energy and may experience blurring of vision because the nerve that sends messages from your eye to your brain called the optic nerve is affected. Your vision gets dim or blurry. You can see colors and your eyes hurt when you move them. Sometimes, a dark spot or what we call a scotoma can occur in the center of your visual eye field. Over time, persons diagnosed with multiple sclerosis may experience poor judgment, depression, and some may even have seizures. Multiple sclerosis can start with a vague symptom that can disappear completely within a few days or weeks or it can appear suddenly, vanish, and then return again. Actually, all these symptoms happen because your immune system mistakenly tells your body to attack the myelin, which is the protective sheet that covers nerve cells in your brain and spinal cord. The exact cause of multiple sclerosis until now is not yet fully understood, but it is considered to be an autoimmune response after a person is exposed to a viral infection. Possibly the herpes virus, which, when activated, triggers this autoimmune reaction. It may run in families and it is more common among people who spend their first 15 years of life in temperate climates or cold countries than in those who live in tropical ones. Lack of vitamin D from the sun is linked with increased risk of multiple sclerosis. Localized areas due to loss of myelin will result to plaques in the brain, spinal cord, and the optic nerve which can lead to the damage and death of nerve cells. Symptoms of multiple sclerosis tend to come and go. It will have a period of relapse and remission. That's why it's important to avoid situations that can trigger your symptoms. In cases where you think you have the symptoms of multiple sclerosis, it would be best for you to consult a neurologist and an MRI or a lumbar puncture will be used to confirm the diagnosis. An MRI can help determine the extent of damage to the brain, which can be seen as black holes in an MRI result due to damaged myelin in brain cells. Medications can help manage symptoms together with physical therapy and things that you can do on your own or together with your family to help you manage the condition better. It is very important that you try to manage major life events such as for example a divorce, losing a job, and trauma, and even minor stresses like lack of sleep, exhaustion, and even exposure to a warm environment because even heat can cause flare-up of your symptoms. And since fatigue is a common problem for people diagnosed with multiple sclerosis, in which you feel overwhelmingly sleepy and excessively tired, set your priorities and limit your activities to save your energy for those that are truly important. Practice activity pacing, where your rest period should be spread out throughout the day. You can also modify your task or your environment to make it more suitable for you. A motorized scooter or a powered wheelchair can be used for both home and community mobility to conserve energy and maintain independence for those who already find it difficult to walk. Regular exercise and massage can help manage the pricking, burning sensation that many find really bothering. You can also use pressure stockings or gloves to relieve pain since this may convert the sensation of pain to one with pressure. 
Do aerobic and strengthening exercises using properly progressed dumbbells, ankle weights, and therabonds to strengthen your muscles and prevent the decline of your health. So, if you're too weak, start with one pound dumbbell first and work your way up. It is best to do your exercises on alternate days. So, for example, if you exercise on a Wednesday, rest the following day and exercise again on a Friday. Do your exercises in the morning when your core body temperature is lowest and before fatigue sets in. Exercising to the point of fatigue is not advisable for you and you should do moderate exercises only. Exercise is one of the best ways to beat fatigue. It gives you more energy during the day and it helps you sleep better at night. Regular physical activity also improves your balance. Never exercise so much that you feel exhausted since it will take your body longer to recover. If it's warm, you can use fans or even spray bottles to mist your skin. If balance is already a concern, assistive devices such as canes or walkers can be used to ensure that you stay safe at all times. You can also contact any official therapy clinic or any rehabilitation hospital near you to help you stay active, functional, and as independent as possible to give you the quality of life that you deserve. Bottom line, if you think you are suffering from multiple sclerosis, seek medical help. Exercise and have a positive outlook because together with your family, you can still live a happy and active life. Thank you for watching. This is again Doc Cherry. Stay safe, stay healthy. God bless you.